welcome back now in this video we will work on the tax pattern for the off as I tell you before right in the previous video first we will create a size box and gonna have some width between this on tax button and the button that we are about to create for the off so first let's create a size box right down in here below this opacity in here you will say size box and gonna give the width to 40 in here comma now in here for the time saving we have already implemented the code for the tax button so we will simply copy the code that we just implemented for this on button and we will change this to off okay so in here as you guys can see the tax button from here to here okay just copy that let's copy it from here or you can simply from here just wrap it like that and copy that tax button okay all of it copy it and again expand it now go down below this size box in here past it okay as you guys can see right in here that tax button we just passed it below this size box so expand it and now we're gonna make a changes for the off tax button right in here everything will be same okay and right in the try we will only change just this requirement to false because we are creating that tax button for the off so in here we will say false and this catch error will be same also the else is going to be same we call upon that job data that's fine and the text is going to be off as I tell you before and also we will just copy the opacity okay right from above from the on tax button okay just copy that opacity copy it and go down below this tax button in here past it and we will only change that requirement to false because that's tax button that we are creating for off okay as you guys can see right in here so in here we're gonna change this to false if the requirement is gonna be equal to false then right in if we will show one if the requirement is not gonna be equal to false then we will show zero that's fine and the icon gonna be same but we will change the color to red okay so there's all the working for the text button off in here add the const modifier now simply what we will do we will just hold reload the app okay come here and click on this because we made a major change and we have to hold reload the app okay now what we will do just open any of the job in my case I have these two jobs that I uploaded before I'll go with this one this time and you guys can see in here the requirement is on now for that job applicants for marketing session the title is that okay so the requirement is on and you guys can see that job right in here and if you go back to the job screen you can see it also in here okay and let me show you also in the firebase that one okay for marketing session that is the job and the requirement is true let's go back to the app now open that one job again applicants for marketing session and now I will simply just of the requirement okay and you guys will notice the changes so it's moved to off okay as you guys can see the red check right in here if I go back to the job screen this job will be disappear because we just turn off the requirement okay you guys will notice that just go back to the job screen 
and there we go it's working totally fine and you guys can see the result the other job has been removed because we just off the recruitment and you guys didn't see the job it has been removed successfully now we will go back to the firebase and we will check it there so here we are as you guys can see that job applicants for marketing session if you guys notice in here before there was true right at this recruitment okay and you guys can see it now the recruitment is false and the job has been removed successfully from the app and you guys can see it right in here the recruitment is false because we just of the recruitment right in the app and the job has been removed from the app successfully and you guys can see it right in here it's working totally fine the recruitment is also false so I hope you can get the idea now and that's how it will work the recruitment okay let's go back to the app now I will simply go and just upload a, another job this time I'll go with the uh, human resources for testing purposes I'm gonna just give the ABC as job title and the description gonna be try okay you can give the proper title and the proper description for testing purposes that's why I'm writing like that okay and we will choose the deadline date 12 okay post it so a task has been uploaded as you guys can see let's go back to the job screen in here as you guys can see ABC the title okay from the same current user who is online and the description is try okay open that it's loading there we go okay now in here I will simply first let us go back to the firebase and I'm gonna show you one more thing there again so that is the new job that we just uploaded okay ABC the title and the description is try okay there we go now in here as you guys can see the recruitment is true okay for now let us go back to the app now right in here as you guys can see I will just turn off the recruitment it's off go back to the job screen the job has been removed successfully let's go back to the firebase here we are in the firebase as you guys can see the job title ABC and the description try okay and in here as you guys can see the recruitment it's now set to false because we just turn off the recruitment for that specific job and the job has been removed successfully from the app and right in the firebase as you guys can see the recruitment is false so that's why I was telling you that the recruitment is gonna be false let's go back to the app and right in here that's why we updated the false okay and that was for the text button off and right on the on text button we said and update that recruitment to true and I hope you can get the idea now and that's how it will work okay and open that job that recruitment will only show to the current user who's gonna be online the same user okay that's why in here I just said that and I explained this in detail right in the previous videos okay so if the current user with the specific UID not equal to the widget dot uploaded by it simply means that if the current user and that specific job that is uploaded by not the same user then we will show that empty container okay because this job will not belongs to the other user it is belong to Zen Malik okay so right in here also we set the else and if the current user dot with the specific UID if that equal to the widget dot uploaded by it simply means that if that specific job okay and the current user with the specific UID that is Zen Malik and that job is uploaded by that specific user who is currently online if that equal to the uploaded by as you guys can see right in here okay is that equal to the uploaded by then right in else we will show all of the working of a recruitment that I explained before in detail and also we check it with a firebase okay let me scroll down slowly so that you guys can see so basically that's it for this video and right from the next video we will work further so see ya